afternoon, Investigator. How are you today? Good. And you, sir? Doing pretty well. Thank you. A few questions for you. Let's talk about the uh, firearms that were located in the green Tahoe. Can we do that? Yes. Okay. You indicated that there were two weapons. We just saw them. One was a Glock handgun, correct? Correct. One was a kel handgun, correct? Correct. All right. You called the kel a, quote, big pistol. Remember saying that? I do. Tell the jury what you mean by big pistol. Obviously, you have the regular size Glock handgun, which is normal. We actually carried the, that particular model in our police department years ago. Um, the kel I... I have a qualified um, patrol rifle through the city of Atlanta, which is on an AR-15 platform, which is probably about that long total. Um, I, I just kind of, that's the best way to describe it. I didn't want to call it a mini rifle because that doesn't look like a rifle to me. Uh, I grew up around guns and I work well with the department involved with those. To me, that was the best way to describe it. It was just an oversized, it looks like an oversized pistol to me, not a full length, like uh, AR type military or police type um, firearm or like an AK-47. It just, it looks like a large pistol. Let's talk about functionality with you on that kel uh, When you, have you ever fired the weapon before, a kel -Tec? No. Do you know much about uh, the functionality of kel weapons? I do not. Okay. So you don't know uh, if you hold, if you pull the trigger and hold it down, whether you have to continue to pull it uh, to, to discharge a uh, bullet. Your Honor, objection. The artist doesn't know about functionality. I stand the objection. Okay. <clears throat> do you know about the functionality of Glock handguns? I do. Okay. Uh, this particular uh, uh, Glock handgun that you described, uh, I think you indicated that it had 15 or 16 live rounds inside the weapon. Is that correct? I believe that's correct. Okay. Do you know if one was in the chambers? I believe it was. Did you do any type of background on these particular firearms to determine whether or not they were stolen? I did not. Okay. Whose job or function would that have been? I can't say for certain, but if I was a lead investigator, I would do that or ask somebody else to do it for me. Would you have been concerned about whether or not either of those handguns were stolen? Uh, I'm concerned with every handgun we recovered if it's stolen. Okay. When you arrived to the location, the Tahoe, was the door to the driver's side, was it open or closed? I believe it was closed. Okay. So if I'm clear, the Tahoe, was, the door was closed, and you looked over into the uh, vehicle, and you saw these firearms in, in the uh, passenger, excuse me, the driver's seat? I don't remember specifically how they were. All I noticed was I noticed they were in the seat at some point. Were you directed to go over to the Tahoe to look at the uh, weapons? No, it was just part of my crime scene investigation to look at all the vehicles involved. Okay. Did you ever learn of uh, how those weapons arrived on the driver's seat? I did not. Okay. Did you, were you instructed to do any type of investigation on the cell phones? No. Okay. Do you know if that would have been a thwart function? I can't speak on that behalf. Okay. Have you ever had an investigation where you were required to conduct an investigation regarding cell phones? Yes. Okay. Uh, typically, you would want to determine calls that were made on the cell phone before or right before the incident? Objection. Correct? I'll overrule the objection. Is that correct? Yes. If I have a cell phone, I'd like to extract whatever data I can off the phone. Do you know if that was done in this case? Again, I can't speak to that as I did not do it. All right. Let's talk about the uh, shell casings. You indicated that there were 27 shell casings that were located uh, at this particular scene, correct? That sounds right. And you indicated that there were 12 bullet fragments, right? Correct. Did you uh, tell the jury whether or not you were called upon to determine whether there were any forensics on those shell casings in terms of fingerprint evidence? I was not asked to do that. Um, that would the lead investigator would take that upon himself in most okay. cases. And you don't know if that were done here. I, I I don't know one way or the other. Okay. You do know that there's a possibility that you can recover. Uh, DNA tissue uh, from shell casings, correct? I'm going to object, Your Honor. I'll testify. I stand the objection. I'm going to ask you a question. Do you know, as you sit here today, Investigator Smith, whether or not you can recover touch DNA from shell casings? It's a possibility, yes. Do you know if any of that was done in this case? I do not know, as I was not the lead detective. Okay. Do you know if there's a, a possibility that DNA soft tissue can be recovered from bullet fragments. 
It's a possibility, yes. Okay. Did you ever observe any video surveillance footage from the barbershop yourself? No, that's what I recall. Okay. Is this your first time testifying here this afternoon in the nine years that you've been a part of this case? Yes. Okay. And other than collecting all of this, uh, placing these placards down, doing the measurements, and telling this jury where things were located, was that essentially your role in this case? Yes, it was. Were you ever asked to go back and do any type of uh, reenactment or any type of uh, recreation of this particular scene? I was not. Did you uh, ask for a warrant for anybody's arrest in this case? I did not. And you certainly don't know who fired any weapons in this case, correct? That is correct. And you don't know exactly what was happening uh, before the first responders arrived to the location in terms of uh, who did what in terms of after the incident occurred, correct? That's correct. You don't know what anyone inside the barbershop did other, when they were, other than uh, what you were told, essentially, or what you listened to in terms of a 911 call, correct? Objection. I objection. Who assigned you to actually perform the CSI in this case? I believe I volunteered for it. When okay. Everybody got there as a collective. We all have our different parts. That's a lot of work for one detective. Okay. So you volunteered for the CSI, is that right? Correct. Was there a volunteer for the lead? No, it was uh, Investigator Thorpe's turn. Okay. We, we have a running list of, as a, let's say there's 10 of us, that's one through 10, number one, is that's their case. There were about three or four investigators that arrived to the location? Yeah, I believe there was about, if not more, about right in that ballpark, yeah. Okay, so Thorpe is the lead, mm -hmm. correct? correct? Correct. You're the CSI? Correct. correct. What are the other two individuals' uh, assignments? I don't know. I, I couldn't pertain to that. Like I said, I was focused on the crime scene. And other than the report that you testified to, did you prepare any uh, supplemental reports in this case? No, I did not. Were you asked to? Other than the crime scene report, no. How many times did you meet with the uh, district attorney's office in this case? Objection, Mr. Chairman. That's the objection. Did you prepare for your testimony this afternoon, uh, Investigator Smith? Objection, Mr. Oh, man. Did you prepare for your testimony in this case? As I try to for every time my testimony, yes. You testify. looked over, did you look over those boards that are on the uh, easel there? Yes, I had seen those. Did you assist in their preparation? Uh, I, other than the crime scene one on the left, no. Okay, so these are, these, are demonstra these are demonstratives that were not prepared with your assistance, correct? That's correct. You were asked to basically describe them, right? And to review them, yes. You didn't put any of those uh, placards or or uh, images on any of those demonstrations, correct? Which one are you talking about? I'm sorry, the one to your immediate right. That is correct. And you were not asked for your input, correct? That's other than to review it, that's it. Okay. <clears throat> that's all I have, thank you. Well, Ms. D. Williams, Mr. Garner, Mr. Um, Steele. No question. Thank you. All right. Anyone else I forget? Okay. Um, any redirect? Yes, sir.